Hey, hello everyone. So good to be here with you. Uh, sadly, we cannot be together today and probably we're not going to be together for a while. Uh, we, we need to be uh, very careful and uh, take care of ourselves. But we're going to be doing all sorts of different um, uh, good things here and funny things together here online. So I'm glad that you are here. Uh, today, we're going to have a really, really, really good um, time. We're going to be worshipping, we're going to be uh, having um, fun with a game, um, we're going to be making some craft later on, and listen to this, I'm going to be telling you about a challenge and a surprise at the end, so make sure you watch the whole video, okay? Stay here and wait for the news at the end. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pray, close your eyes, we're going to say, Jesus, thank you very much because you are with us, and we're here because we want to learn more and more from you. We know you're real and we know you live in our hearts. Amen. So now we're going to worship God. We're going to worship Jesus with this song. See you in a bit. Oh 
It's so exciting to worship and sing to Jesus. Don't you think, guys? Hopefully you were dancing and you were jumping and using your voice to worship God. Anyway, so now we are going to watch a video and that we're going to be learning about Jesus when Jesus was a child, just like you. We're going to be learning about a special trip that Jesus had when he was only 12 with dad and mom. They went to a special city and something special happened over there. So I'm not going to give you lots of details, so make sure you watch all the video. See you in a bit. After Jesus was born, wise men followed a star to Bethlehem to find the new king of the Jews. The wise men worshipped Jesus as king. When they left, an angel told Joseph in a dream to leave Bethlehem because King Herod wanted to kill <laughs> Jesus. So Mary, Joseph, and Jesus went to Egypt until Herod died. Then they went back to Israel and lived in Nazareth. Jesus grew up in Nazareth. Every year, Jesus' parents traveled to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. Passover was the biggest holiday for the Jewish people. Many people traveled to Jerusalem to celebrate and remember when God saved his people from slavery in Egypt. When Jesus was 12 years old, Jesus and his family went to Jerusalem together. When it was time to go home, Mary and Joseph began traveling to Nazareth with a large group of people. They didn't notice that Jesus was not with them. They thought he was among the group of travelers, but Jesus was not with the group. He had stayed behind in Jerusalem. Mary and Joseph had been walking for a whole day when they started to look for Jesus. They looked among their relatives and friends, but they could not find him. So Mary and Joseph went back to Jerusalem. They searched everywhere for Jesus. The city was so big and Jesus was just a boy. Finally, they found him at the temple. Jesus was listening to the teachers and asking them questions. Everyone who heard Jesus could hardly believe how much Jesus understood. When Jesus' parents saw him, they were surprised. <gasps> Mary said, Son, why have you done this? Your father and I were worried. We've been looking everywhere for you. Why were you looking for me? Jesus asked. Didn't you know that I had to be in my father's house? But Mary and Joseph did not understand what Jesus was talking about. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus went back to Nazareth with Mary and Joseph. Jesus was always obedient to them. And Mary remembered all of these things. As Jesus grew up, he became even wiser. Mm. God was pleased with him, and so was everyone who knew him. God sent Jesus to earth with a purpose, even as a child. Jesus wanted to honor God. God blessed Jesus as he got ready to follow his father's plan, to die on the cross and rescue people from sin. Hey, hello. Uh, we're back again. Did you enjoy the video? Did you enjoy the story? It was amazing, wasn't it? Three days, three days uh, walking to get to that city. Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. They were celebrating. They were there in Jerusalem because they were celebrating the Passover, which was a big celebration on those days for all the people of Israel. So that's why they needed to be there. Did you notice that when Jesus went to the temple, everyone was just surprised? But why do you think they were so surprised about Jesus? Did you catch that detail? He was only 12. But remember this, Jesus was fully human, but he was fully God as well. And the thing is, he was there sitting, explaining the word of God to all of these adults in the temple. And they just couldn't believe it. Just imagine. It's like you being 12, explaining, you know, really difficult things about rockets and things that you haven't learned. So they were all surprised. How is it possible that this 12-year-old knows so much about the Word of God? Well, he was God himself. That's why he knew a lot. 
and he knew about his father. So that's why it's so important that we follow uh, on the steps of Jesus and we learn the Bible a lot so we can know a lot about the word of God. So he was surprised. But Jesus, you know what? He was doing that because he wanted to be obedient to his father. He wanted to do everything that his father uh, wanted um, him to, um, to do. And the father has a special plan for him, for, for Jesus. I'm not talking about Joseph. I'm not talking about his earthly father. I'm talking about God the father. Jesus wanted to obey him. Jesus wanted to do everything the father was asking him. And he had a plan. And you know what? The same father has a plan for me and has a plan for you as well. So Jesus actually was, the plan was to make a way for all the sinners in the world to come back to the father, to come back to God. Okay, to be forgiven. And that is the same plan for you and for me still. God wants us to obey him. God wants us to glorify him with everything you do, with everything I do. And God wants us to be with him for the rest of the eternity. I know it's a difficult thing to understand. Eternity is a big word, but forever. He wants us to be there forever. So Jesus has a plan. So remember, we are all in a mission as well. We can part of, be part of this plan now. If you know Jesus now, I know Jesus now. But if you have friends or family that doesn't know Jesus, okay, we can actually help Jesus and be part of this plan. We can share the gospel with them. We can share what Jesus is all about with them. And after that, we're going to be, you know, doing what the Father wants us to do. So let's be obedient to your earthly parents, your mom and your dad. Let's be obedient, but let's be obedient to our Father in heaven as well. So uh, hopefully you got all of that from the video. If not, I just gave you all the details. Now, we're going to have a very, very interesting game now. Okay, are you ready for that? I'm going to be expecting some answers later on next week. Okay, the video is called, uh, What Am I? And can you guess the riddle? That's the, that's the game, not the video. The game is called, What Am I? And can you guess the riddle? So how is going to work? I'm, you're going to see uh, the screen and the screen is going to uh, play a sound, okay? And you need to guess what is that sound, okay? It could be a uh, sound inside the house. It could be an animal. You pay attention. And when you have the answer, write it down. After the sound, Another screen is going to come uh, 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 and it's going to show you, sorry, a riddle. Okay, let's see if you can solve it. So you can do this. Um, if you're very, very little, you can do this with your um, older brother or sister or with your parents later on. Um, but uh, if you don't, have a go to all the riddles. So let's see if you can guess all the animals or the other sounds. And if you, if you can solve all the riddles, I'm going to be waiting for those answers. After the game, when you have fun, Becky is going to come. You remember Becky, right? She's going to come and is going to teach us how to make another beautiful craft. So make sure you got all your pencils and scissors and everything, uh, the glue, everything you need to make that craft. And again, just like um, uh, any other week before, send us some photos and we're going to shout your name out next Sunday. Okay? See you at the end. Oh, and remember, I'm going to give you the news about the challenge and the big surprise we have for you. Okay, bye.
Hi everyone, how are you doing? I expect a lot of you are back to homeschool now. I hope that's going okay. And it's cold, isn't it? I've got so many jumpers on just to try and keep warm. Hope you're staying warm at home. So we've been learning today about how uh, how Jesus went to the temple, didn't he? To share um, his knowledge, even though he was a young boy with some of the temple leaders. And we're gonna be, we're gonna make a little temple today. And it's not very difficult. All you really need is some paper, a piece of paper. And if you can, get, um, get your parent or carer to print out this picture, which is in the resources. But if you don't have a printer, it's okay. Um, you can either ask somebody to draw you some pictures of some people and Jesus, or you can draw them yourself if you're a little bit older and you're able to. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a piece of white paper like this, and are you going to make some cuts? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can either use white or I might use brown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first of all fold it. So I'm gonna make a fold here, like that. Okay, and one the other side. Like that, so that'd be like two flaps for the sides of my temple. And then what I need to do is I need to make a couple of cuts. So I'm going to cut just a little way up those two that I've made. In fact, actually, let's do one more fold, but not not in half. Just fold the bottom up just a little way. So like that. And then you're going to cut there and there. Let me show you. So look, got my paper and I'm cutting along the folds that I did, just that one there and that one there. Okay, and this is, I'm gonna show you how this forms the temple. So what you do, then you've got the folds, you fold these corners in like that, and then you're going to glue this flap to the bottom and this flap to the bottom. So let me show you. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. I need to find my glue. Put a little bit of glue um, uh, along there and along there. Let me show you. I've got special glue that's green and it shows up. So you see I've put a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue there. And then I'm going to fold these like that and stick. Okay, and the same on this one. Fold and stick. And that makes my temple. Okay, so you can either do it in coloured coloured paper or white paper. So I did like I did a white one earlier. And so you can just fold that and stick it as well. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I've got the printed version because I'm not brilliant at drawing, but you might be really you might really love drawing and be good at drawing. So you can either print it out, copy it, or draw your own. A picture of some older men at the synagogue with the young boy Jesus. And you can colour that beautifully and cut it out. I'm just gonna do that, and then I'll just pause the video for a minute, and then you can see how it turns out. All right, see you in a sec. Okay, so I've um, I cut out and coloured my picture, and I've glued it in there to show Jesus inside the temple and I've actually just made a couple of pillars to make it look more like a temple. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, it's up to you. So I really hope you have fun making your temple to remind us that Jesus was so wise when he was even a little boy and had even more knowledge than most of the adults. So we would love to see your temples. So if you make one, please don't forget to ask your grown up to send in a photo and we'll give you a shout out next week. Take care, look after yourselves, bye. Right, that was an excellent craft. Thank you very much, Becky. Uh, hope you enjoyed doing making that, kids. Remember to send us uh, the photos about the craft and the game. Did you enjoy it? I think some of the sounds were a little bit difficult, but you are really, really good. Remember that if you don't know uh, some of the sounds, you can still ask your parents and send us the answers. What about the riddles? Did you find them really difficult? 
make sure you guess them all. We're going to be waiting for all your answers. And next week, we're going to be shouting out your name. Talking about shouting out names, this week, I want to say thank you very much to Levi and Maddie. That's a fantastic photo. And you can see that they were working really hard last week making the craft. So well done, Levi and Maddie this week. Now, do you remember at the beginning of the video, I told you that I was going to be telling you about something really special, a challenge that we're going to be doing all together, all the kids and possibly your parents as well, all together. We're going to be reading the Bible for a whole year together. We're going to read one verse, verse of the Bible a day, a day. And uh, this week, all of you are going to receive a letter like this one in the post with a proper stamp and with your own name. Do you want to know what's, going, what's inside this letter? Well, I'm going to tell you. Inside the letter, inside the envelope, sorry, you're going to have a letter for your parents and that letter is going to explain everything we're doing and how are we going to do it. Inside the envelope, you're going to find an, a special letter for you as well with your name. And it's going to explain you what you need to do and what, how the activity is going to work. I'm going to explain you a little bit about that in a few minutes. But this week, you're going to have that letter as well. Inside the letter, you're going to get this as well. I'm just going to put the envelope in there. And you'll see that you're going to receive um, a few pages. And what we're going to do is each month of the, by, of, the, of the year, we're going to have one verse per day. And you need to read that verse um, on your own, or you can read it with someone else. Okay, so we're going to have a theme per month. Uh, in January, for example, we're going to be learning about joy, and we're going to read in the Bible all sorts of different things about, um, about what joy means. Um, I've got a little friend with me today. Hey, hello, Sally. How are you doing? Hello. Um, I was uh, just wondering. Yeah? If I want to participate. Yes? And I can't read. Oh, what do I do? That's a really good question, Sally. What happens if you cannot read? Well, don't worry, because this is where your parents come in, or your oldest brothers and sisters. You can say to them, hey, I know I cannot read, but can you read that verse for me, please? And explain it to me so I can tick as well and learn about the Word of God. That will be fantastic. So, each month, that's January and February, for example, we're going to talk about what faith is and we're going to be reading again. Excuse me, Excuse me Sally? Yeah? What if I don't have a Bible? That's a really good question. What happens if you don't have a Bible? Well, you can ask your parents if they have one and you can use your parents' Bible or your oldest and sister's um, Bible if they have one. And if they don't have one and you cannot buy one, well, you send us an email and you say, we don't have a Bible at home, can you help me with that? And we'll make sure we help you finding a Bible for you to read the Bible, okay? So, that's what we're going to do. So, Rosita, don't... Sally, sorry, I don't know why I'm thinking about someone called Rosita. Sally, uh, if you can't read, you ask your parents, and if you don't have your Bible, if you don't have your own Bible, you use your parents or we will help you, okay? Right. Now, this is the exciting bit. It's not just about reading. Um, we're going to be learning a lot, and by the end of the year, we're going to know so much about the Bible. But every single month, we're going to have a special batch that you can win. If you tick all the little, the little um, verses, if you read every single once a month, you're going to have a batch at the end. And how is that batch going? Sorry, Sally, you have a question? No, I'm just oh. excited about badges. Okay, yes, you like badges? Yeah. Well, you're going to be excited about this. Look at this. Every single month, you're going to be able to get one batch. We're going to give you a special lanyard, and you're going to be able to collect them. It's 12 of them with beautiful designs, and it's going to have, and this one says joy, because in January, we're going to be learning about the joy of God. 
Okay, so every time you complete one month and you have read every single verse, you're going to get this special badge. And the beautiful thing is that you're going to have 12 that you can collect. And at the end, if you collect them all, you're going to have a big one here that we're preparing just for you. So make sure you read the Bible every single day with us. Mm-hmm. Yes, Sally, another question? What happens if you miss a few days? That's a really good question, Sally, because you're full of good questions, aren't you? What happened if you miss one or two or three days? Well, it doesn't matter. You do it in your own time. We're going to all try to be reading one verse of the Bible. It's not, it doesn't take a lot of time, two or three minutes with your parents or in your room. But if you miss some of them, you can catch up later on, okay? There is no, um, there is no uh, a problem at all with us. And when you finish your month, when you have all the ticks, you just send us a photo with all the ticks and we will send you the badge back post or we will give you the badge at church if we are meeting face to face. Okay, so remember this week you're going to receive a letter. Make sure you take care of it. There is two letters inside and you're going to get all the papers you need to read the Bible for a whole year and you better start reading if you want to collect all the 12 badges. I'm excited. Sally is excited and everyone is excited. I'm going to be reading it with you. So make sure we all do it together. Remember to ask everyone at your house around you to help you if you cannot do it on your own. I'm sure you all can. Okay, so that's the exciting news. What do you think? Are you up for the challenge? Let's read the Bible for 3,000. No, not 3,000. What am I saying? 365 days. I cannot even count. Oh. All right. Shall we do that? Yeah. Okay, then. That was, uh, that was everything for today. And make sure you check your post. Bye. 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 Bye.